Today I fucked up using a flashlight to look at the veins in my hand. Earlier tonight my wife had a small red bump on the side of her foot. She took some ibuprofen and the redness and swelling went away but she swore she felt a lump in her foot where the bump was. She can be a bit of a hypochondriac so I though to put her mind at ease I would use a flashlight to put against her foot to show her veins. My train of thought was we would see her veins and if there was a lump of some sort we would see it in such a small thin bony part of the body. Once we didn't see anything she would relax. So my plan worked and she immediately felt better. But it forgot how cool it is to see the red skin and veins in your body. I decided to do it on myself. I sat on the coffee table and put the flashlight under my left hand using the right hand to hold the flashlight. This isn't a normal flashlight. It's a 1000 lumen tactical flashlight. So I had it up against my hand and am amazed by all the vessels running through my palm and fingers. I lean over and am staring intensely. Suddenly the lens got really hot. I don't know how hot it was, but it burned just like touching a hot stove. I moved my hand instead of the flashlight. The problem was I was still looking down at the light. 1000 lumens straight to eyes. It immediately blinded me and the natural reaction was to sit up and throw myself backwards. I fell over off the coffee table and landed between the couch and coffee table. So I'm laying there, burned and blind trying to think why I do this kind of stuff to myself. It's been 30 minutes and I still see a bright circle when I blink. Too long did not read. I used a 1000 lumen flashlight to look at the veins in my hand. The lens got hot, burned my hand, moved my hand and got blinded by the light. I fell backwards over the coffee table as a result. Yeah, that's not fun. The spot will go away eventually. If it helps, it's also happened to me. One of the best stories of the day. Gotta be careful with those 1000 plus lumen flashlights. My Phoenix PD-35 has made a black blanket of mine start smoking. I gave this a lot of thought and decided you are almost as big a idiot as me. F to your retinas. Congrats. You have performed the initiation ritual of R. Flashlight. This is a real tifu. You fucked up, man. My 14-year-old has this stupidest habit of looking straight at a flashlight when he turns them on. Helps that R's are usually dead but he blinded the hell out of himself for a second the other week and I think I almost lost a lung from laughing at him. Today I fucked up by not checking to see if my boyfriend had his webcam on before walking in. I work the night shift in the hospital, so my sleep-wake cycle is completely flip-flopped. I go to work at 7 p.m., get home the next morning, have dinner, then go to bed. My boyfriend has a normal 9-5, work-from-home job. His computer is set up in the bonus room downstairs where I usually watch TV. Normally when he's on a video call he just shuts the door so I know not to come in. This morning I check the fridge, find some leftover ribs, and heat them up for my dinner. The door downstairs is open, so I walk down there and sit on the ground by the coffee table directly behind him. He has his headset on, but this isn't unusual. He listens to a lot of music. I start digging in. I just worked over 12 hours without a lunch break and I'm ravenous. And these are some messy ribs, y'all. The layer of sauce on them is half an inch thick. The meat is so tender it's falling off the bone and I'm slurping it into my mouth like an animal before it falls onto the plate. My face and hands look like a murder scene. I have to do this weird waddle thing to stand up without using my arms and leave to shower. Boyfriend comes up a bit later. Turns out he was in a video conference and everyone could see me. While I'm sitting there, eating a plate of ribs in my sweatpants. At 9 in the morning. Cute. Anyway. I'll be passing away now. Too long did not read. Unknowingly devoured a plate of the most unattractive food to watch someone eat in the background of my partner's online meeting. Expected nudity, got casual ribs. Things turned out better than expected. Was he laughing? I would have recorded the whole thing. This honestly could have been so much worse than eating ribs in sweatpants. Also ribs can be eaten at any time during the day or night. Don't listen to anyone that would tell you otherwise. Nah. Sounds like a win. Ribs and everyone got to see you enjoy them. Even if messy. If wanna tries to give you shit just say, at least I had ribs how they're meant to be. And they were delicious. If I was your BF, I'd simply tell them, I unchain and let her out of the basement on Tuesday morning to eat her favorite meal and get a little sunlight. Nude, slathered in barbecue sauce, grunting and moaning would be a tifu. Thanks for being in the medical field during a remarkably challenging time. I wish I could give this several awards. I guarantee you made everyone else hungry for ribs, because I'm hungry for ribs now.
Today I fucked up by talking to my cat. This foo has been six years in the making. Six years ago, when I lived by myself, I bought a cat. My cat's name is Toby. He is an amazing cat and I love him so much. Toby does not meow like a regular cat, but instead squeaks. When I lived alone, I would talk to Toby a lot, judge me how you want. When I would talk to him, he would respond in squeaks. He especially loves to squeak at night when he wants extra cuddles. Now flash forward to now and I have a newborn. Toby still loves to talk with me. And discovered he can talk with his sister now too. So he will perch on my bed and scream into the baby's bassinet until baby responds with her own screams. Too long did not read. I conditioned my cat to talk to me for attention, and now screams at my newborn for fun all night long. Edit. Cat tax. That's kind of cute haha. You must be having peaceful nights full of sleep congrats on the baby by the way. Sir I'm really going to need video evidence of this, but not because I don't believe you. I in fact believe you and must see this. We had to start shutting the baby's door for naps, because the cat quickly learned that yelling at the sleeping baby for food or attention got a much bigger and faster reaction than yelling directly at mom and dad. My cats loved my newborn daughter. When she would cry, they would all meow and run to her. My oldest cat, Tilly would run and thump into my bedroom door when I was asleep when my daughter would wake up crying. I've discovered that kitties respond to human conversation. I always talk to my kitties. My Sam, who passed away last year, loved to talk. We would have full-fledged conversations through his many sounds. So nothing wrong talking to animals. No sir. You are twice blessed. I talk to my cats all the time. People need to talk to their animals. They love communicating with us. Today I fucked up by telling my wife she was a billion seconds old. This happened a few years back. I read somewhere that 1 billion second equals 31.7 years. My wife at the time was nearing her 31st birthday, so I knew I had to file away this information for a later date. I set a reminder for myself to go off about a year later after doing all the detailed math. I found out exactly what her time of birth was and did the calculations of when her billionth second on earth would be, even taking leaps years into consideration. The big night arrived and we were sitting watching TV. It was still a few months before her actual birthday so she wasn't prepared for anything out of the ordinary. I was keeping a close eye on the time and all of a sudden I stood up and cheered and exclaimed, happy birthday. Predictably, she asked what I was talking about and I explained that she had just turned a billion seconds old. She likes weird and curious stuff like me so I thought she'd get a kick out of it. Instead she started crying. I mean she was trying to laugh in between the tears, but she was legitimately crying. Since she had turned 30 she started to be more sensitive about her age and for whatever reason, hearing me saying she was a billion of anything old really ruined things for her. I had to spend some time consoling her before she was able to gather herself. Too long did not read. I told my wife she was a billion seconds old and she cried. Wow, 30 years, she's practically ancient. Does she need a walker yet? Looks at 40-something B-day soon. Kids these days. You can share this with her. I just turned 50, female. At 29, I realized I felt like I finally knew myself. My 30s were great not in hindsight, at the time. My 40s were awesome, again, not from the rear view mirror. Now, I'm getting old. I'm embracing it. I get to be grandmotherly. I can wear cardigans even if they look frumpy. I don't have to convince myself I'm too young to have health problems, so I'm not in denial about them. I love cats, gardening, needlework, and reading. Hell, I've been a grandma all my life. My body is just catching up. Enjoy who and what you are, while you are. Life's pretty wonderful at any age, so far. In two years you get to say, happy. Wait for half a minute. Birthday. That's her 32nd birthday. So this moment was close to her turning 32. Please don't miss the opportunity to tell her that she gets to celebrate that birthday for only half a minute. Because it's her 32nd birthday. P.S. She looks pretty good a billion. Honest fuck up, but she'll laugh about it later. Sensitive about turning 30 pfffffffft. Dot you better start preparing now for her to turn 40 then. I'm 17, and I can't imagine how 30 is old. 55 60? Sure. 30? You're still in your prime. She likes weird and curious stuff like me. Ah, don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sure you're a perfectly normal human being. 